there's a guy named Julian Phillips out of uh, Tennessee. And Tennessee had one of the best defenses in college basketball. I think they finished with the third best defense. And they were near the top all season long. And before he got hurt for about a week or two and lost his spot in the starting lineup, um, probably the most impactful defender was Julian Phillips. And the thing about Julian Phillips is he had, I think, some of the best um, like standing vertical and max vertical leaps. He's a tremendous athlete, seven foot wingspan. He's quick. He's 19, moves fluidly. He's six, eight, by the way. And um, he's just a great defensive prospect. He's absolutely, um, again, like one of the best defenders on one of the best defending teams. He's a guy that sticks out on ball. He'll, he'll get steals and blocks on his guy. And he, he he has some versatility to him. He's not quite. I think he weighed in at just under two hundred pounds of the combine, but he still has versatility and kind of can take some physicality in, in, relative to that frame. And of course, at age nineteen, that projects to get better. And so he's obviously like probably a better defensive prospect than Prosper, and you know a lot of other guys. He might be one of the best defensive prospects in the draft, and. The one thing that's interesting is he couldn't shoot, for, you know, for anything uh, in college. I think he was just forty-one percent from the field, twenty-four percent from three on one and a half attempts per game, and you know he he hit some mid rangers, but even not at a very high clip. But the interesting thing, the thing that makes him so like, or that could make scouts and teams so hopeful, is the fact this guy shot eighty-two percent from the free throw line. So there's something there. You get some NBA coaching on him. I mean, this guy could feasibly become a 3 and D, great athlete, runs the floor, could be a hell of a player. And the defensive um, like upside there is legitimate, and it, it seems uh, it seems like it'll he, he could develop into a really good defender sooner than later. So he would be a guy that. You probably wouldn't want to see the floor very much in his first year, although you'd probably want him to test the waters every now and then, obviously, but as a winning team. But at pick 38, you could be getting yourself a defensive stopper in, in your near future. And I, I, again, I've said that about other guys, and I'm, I'm totally ready to be wrong about a bunch of these fellas. But, um, man, I think Julian Phillips is a guy that – and I think he, he's starting to get talked about a little bit more over the last couple of weeks.